It's dessert time! I'm Tracy and I'm here to share with you a really easy, delicious dessert. This is berries on puff pastry. Now, when I think about dessert, I'm usually thinking about the end of a meal, kicking back, relaxing, and if I'm making dessert, it's usually because I have friends over and it's really time to relax and take it easy. So this is a really simple dessert. What you do is you take one puff pastry, put it on your baking pan and pop it in the oven at 350 degrees for 10 minutes. Pull it out after 10 minutes and then put an egg wash on it. And what an egg wash is, is just a lightly beaten egg and you put that on with a brush and cover the whole puff pastry. And then you put a little bit of this coarse sugar. It's called turbinado. It's actually a really nice, beautiful sugar. And I put about a tablespoon of that sugar and sprinkle it all over my puff pastry and my egg wash. I then pop it back in the oven for another 10 minutes. So the puff pastry has to puff up. When it's done cooking, it puffs up. So that's how you know. So once you pull it out after the 20 minutes of cooking, you'll see that it's a nice um, crispy brown color and it's got all those nice crystals of sugar on it. So that's the first step. Meanwhile, while your puff pastry is cooking, you make the cream. And the cream is so easy and so delicious. I really hope you enjoy it. I start off with one eight ounce whipped Philadelphia cream cheese in plain flavor. I put this whole container into a bowl with one cup of powdered sugar. I stir that all around. I add one teaspoon of vanilla extract and one zest of a whole entire lemon. Now this really gives it a wonderful flavor. And experts say when you're zesting a lemon that you should buy an organic lemon but they didn't have them at my store, so I hope we make it. I just used a regular lemon. And what you do is you just go like this and just take the yellow part of the lemon. You don't wanna take that white part because that'll give a little bitterness, and we're not looking for any of that because it's dessert time. So you zest the whole lemon, you put it into your mixture, and then you cream it all together. And you could just do that with your hand. You just stir it all up nicely, and it becomes this nice, creamy, delicious, citrusy, um, filling. And then what you do is once your puff pastry has cooled a little bit, this serving is for four people and it's four heaping servings. So if you had more people and you wanted to have a smaller dessert, you could certainly cut it smaller. But then what you do is you take your puff pastry and you cream all of the delicious filling on top of it and you, you do that once it's cooled. Once your cream filling is put on top of it, then you take a pint of raspberries and a pint of blueberries. Now this is my favorite part of the dessert because raspberries and blueberries are so healthy. According to tons of articles, blueberries are one of the 10 superfoods. They're high in antioxidants and they actually help make you more healthy. They are low in carbs, they're just very delicious, and they contain more disease-fighting antioxidants than any other fruit or vegetable out there. So you're actually maybe even gonna have a healthy dessert here. So then what I do is I pile up my raspberries and strawberries in whatever form I want, and I put a little bit of sprinkled powdered sugar on top, and voila! Pair this with a nice warm cup of coffee or a glass of port, and you've got a dessert that's a winner, and that actually has some health benefits as well. All the information that I got about blueberries and raspberries was from cookingnook.com. Here's your dessert, and with all the patriotic holidays coming up, you can make this look like an American flag, or you can decorate it in a heart decoration, or anything you like. So please enjoy.